Hey bro, how are you? Judge record for you and you pair GTA 5. It's me. Okay, what doing next, guys? Take car, yeah? Yeah, boy. How you doing? Hey, great, really great. How are you? Well, I know how you are. I have never heard such crap in all my life! Hey, I know my truth, brother, brother. Yeah? And I know mine. Moron, moron. You can ignore me, but you cannot ignore the truth. The truth is that dinosaurs are alive if people believe because they are too weak. Nice. First audio. Oh, oh, very good. Let's go, Bob! Take Audi. houses like this all the time okay I sold dreams I made lives meaningful I'm not sure about that what you like you like beautiful things though don't you sure well I just happen to know the most beautiful woman you want a bouncy bounty Josh Josh Bernstein <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the check? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients all of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? No problem. That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. Give me money. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery.
change car. Oh, stop. Stop. Give me car.
bike again, I can't fucking deal with it! Say something! Be a man! I don't care what you say! Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say! It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Mm. Ah. Nice. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You're mm. stupid person who's going to impregnate my ex by a surrogate. Me? Me, the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met. I love you. You're thin. You're irrationally angry. Nothing you say makes any sense. You are completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it. On the bike. Now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, what are you are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! Always scope for improvement. Always is. 
Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paying until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Who are you? by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we can plant some fire bombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. And you also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. And the car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIV paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. 
Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep you guys the change. Sell so, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want a mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Okay, does that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, see you, here. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Okay, guys, this part is finished. Press like me, subscribe, comment. I record for your next part. Bye-bye.